Ooh. Wow, well, no guessing where I am today. Welcome to Glen Coe. Well, look at that light behind me. I don't know if you can see it hitting the top of the buckle. Wow, might get a nice uh, sunset. It's Friday night. Anyway, it's Friday night. <laughs> We've just parked up. It's about 8.30, quarter to nine. It was a bit of a rush, um, got home from work about six, I had to do some emails and then literally me and my son threw everything in the van and came and I've forgotten a few things. <laughs> Maybe a slight wardrobe malfunction again, but well, it's not a tank top this time. Anyway, we're going to go up to the top of the buckle tomorrow. Not sure, uh, well I know that um, I've never been up this way, we're going to take a new route, I'm taking my son with me. I uh, hope he's going to enjoy it, I hope the weather's going to be good and really looking forward to it but yeah for now yeah i'm going to go and take some pictures of that and the next time you'll see me will be in the morning as we're getting ready to head up stob gerard on bukulete more right back to the van and get away from these mudgies well oh, right i've just uh just woken up and yeah, I'm gonna go and pop my head outside, see what the weather's like. Let's see. Oh yes, this looks nice. Ah oh, yes, I'll spin you around. Oh, there. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Right. It's going to be a good day. Let's get back in the van and get our stuff ready. Right. Good morning. It's the next morning, as you can probably see. I think I did a bit of camera just as I woke up. But what a beautiful morning it is. And look, the sun is hitting the slopes we're going up. So we're, um, as I said, I'm here with my son and we're going up a route that I've never done before. And it's certainly probably the most, it's up a grade from the scramble we did with Lewis earlier in the summer. So it's the next grade up. So we've got our helmets and harnesses and ropes just to be on the safe side. So we might have to put them on. And uh, yeah, it's the second one. It's not the skyline, it's the one just behind there. And it's called Great Gully Buttress. So let's, uh, let's crack on and I'll report back when we're at the start of the scramble. Let's go. Oh, try to keep up with my son. Ah, talking of suns, the sun's disappeared <laughs> behind the cloud. I'm hoping it's going to come back out soon. Oh, right, we've uh, not ascended very far. The path kind of goes round the side of the mountain, as you can see. But I just wanted to do a quick handheld piece of camera to show you where we're going. If I spin around here, you may be able to see it over my shoulder. Up there, the one in the middle, that's Great Gully Buttress between the two gullies. So that's where we're headed. It looks quite steep from here in places, so uh, we're going to have fun. Let me just see if I can focus it on it for you. Yeah, this one right in the middle, right about there. That's the one we're going up, up and round then up into the top. The one over to the left is North Buttress, and this is Broad Buttress here with Wagon Garb over on the right there. So. Yeah, really looking forward to this. So we're going to head off the path very shortly. I'm hoping the midges stay on the path. <laughs> There's a few of them. And uh, I don't have a midget yet, and I've got a short sleeved t-shirt on because of my wardrobe malfunction, which I'll, I'll tell you about when we get to the top. But for now, I need to catch up with him. <laughs> hey, you want to stay there? We're going to head up there, Lou. Okay? Right, I better go. Right, we've started, uh, come to the point where we start the scrambling, so we're going to put the poles away. God, the midge are bad. <laughs> they are absolutely ferocious. So, yeah, pulls away here and then we'll get up this wee bit and see how it's looking and hoping a wee breeze picks up to get rid of these horrendous, horrendous midges. I don't know if you can pick them up in the camera or not, but they're bad to do. Again, a disadvantage of there being no wind. Oh, dear. oh my God. 
Oh, I don't know if you can see us, we are being devoured. I think it might just be the remnants of the Wolkies by the time we get up here. Oh, so we've got our helmets on, scramble up here, and we might get the rope on further on, but this could be... Yeah, this is this is bad. My arms are literally crawling in them. Wait, don't know if that, you know, that'll, make, that'll make it out, but they are... Oh, everywhere, right? Camera away, I think. <laughs> Oh, right, we're going to get the rope out and just practice a wee bit of roping up and getting the harnesses on and all that sort of stuff. There's a slight breeze here, but still not enough to keep the little blighters at bay, so let's get that done. I'm going to put this big camera away and just take the wee one out now until we get to the top, because the way I'll have the rope, it won't enable me to have the big camera out, so I apologise for the action cam footage coming up in the next few while, but... Right, let's get this stuff sorted. Right, just about ready to go. Just going to take some coils on the rope and then we'll start moving up together up this sort of broken ground. But it's, there are some wet, wet, slimy bits and bobs. It was raining last night and yesterday, so it's just, it's just to be safe, a bit safe than sorry. And it gives us a wee bit of practice for when we go to do harder, harder scrambles uh, in the future, just getting the rope out and practicing. So. Yeah, what a place though. And you know what? There's a tiny wee breeze here, <laughs> which we are both enjoying. So we'll get the, get the rope on, and as I said, this camera's going away, and I'll be out with the wee action cam until we get to the top. So I'll report back when we're at the top, and you'll see some B footage of me probably doing a talk over or a voiceover. Right, let's get this rope sorted. So we've got the rope on and headed up Great Gully Buttress, up that lovely rhyolite and there were still some wet smears in places so we did take our time and just was very, very careful because these wet bits can be a bit slippy. And the route itself is very similar to the other scrambling routes heading up Bukoletiv Moor and yeah, it is vegetated in places, but there were a few steep steps where we just had to be a bit careful. The action cam does, you know, makes the, the steepness look a lot worse than it actually is, as always, but it's still, it's still a steep-sided slope and care needs to be taken. So we were just taking our time, but at the same time really, really enjoying ourselves. The views were absolutely fantastic. And the really good thing about Great Gully Buttress is it's not as well known as places like Curved Ridge, perhaps, and as such, it's a lot quieter. We didn't meet anybody going up here, which was just lovely. A wee bit of solitude and one of the busiest Munros in the area, for sure. After a few more steep rocky steps on that lovely rock, it was drier the higher up we went and we did try and keep to the rock because the vegetation was actually more slippy with it being wet. Um, we, we made it to the top of the route and from here there was a lovely path which is probably made partly by climbers descending down Great Gully Buttress because they often use it as a, a descent route. Anyway, it skirts round the eastern face of Broad Buttress, which is quite steep cliffs. And before long, we made it up onto the ridge of Bukoletiv Moor, and it was lovely. It was a fine, fine day, and we weren't far from the summit of Stobjerarg, where we stopped to get the gear off before heading on towards the top. Well, as you can see, we've finished the uh, the scramble now. It was great fun. It was really good. We'd, I just couldn't have that camera out because the way I had the the rope around the uh, around my torso it wouldn't have allowed me to clip the camera onto my bag, which is fine. So apologies for the uh, the action cam footage, but yeah, that was that was good fun. It was it was really good. Did you enjoy it, Lewis? That's a yes, he enjoyed it as well. So that's the summit just there with the people on it. So we're going to, uh, I'm just going to put everything away in the back here and we'll take a dondor over to the summit and uh, probably have a bite to eat there. So let's get things away. 
Right, it's a nice breeze up here as I said, but I forgot to tell you what my wardrobe malfunction was. Well, my uh, I'd taken my um, long sleeve base layer and put it nicely at the front door and of course in the rush, having finished my work and emails and thrown it in the, in the van, I totally forgot it. So yeah, my new a ACDC merchandise, new outdoor clothing <laughs> suggestions. Not quite as breathable as your uh, bear houses and what have you, but anyway, I'm actually going to take the gilet off and put on a light, light overcoat that I've got because there's a lovely breeze now and I want to cover my arms up. I'm uh, sorry, I'm holding the mic, how unprofessional. Cover my arms up from the midges and also prevent them from getting any burntner than they already are. <laughs> right, let's get this on. This is a nice light, light one. Light, light. That's everything in. Just a short stroll over the summit, so I'll just not take the poles out yet. Shall we go and get some lunch? Yeah. Let's go. There you go. The top. Well done, he's having a seat. Super, right, let's go and get a seat. I think the earth could be good, just dangle our legs over the edge. And there's the summit of Stob Gerarg <coughs> on the Bukolet, if more, more fondly just called the Bukol by many folk. We're just sitting here having our, having our lunch, a fine, it's a fine viewpoint, you can see right down. I'm not going to do a, a Jerry 360. Just a very quick one. Oh, well, yeah, I'll just a quick one. So over there you've got a bidgeon, round to Anahigic and then round to Ben Nevis, the Grey Corries, and then over the summit here is down over Rannoch Moor. Look at that. Isn't that just fabulous? What a day. What a day. What a spot we've got there for lunch. Anyway, so we're going to finish our lunch and then we're going to head back down to the van. I just hope the midges aren't quite as bad <laughs> as they were down the bottom when we left. But we'll see, time will tell. We're going to sit here for a bit longer, have another scotch egg, and then get in our way back down to the van. Yep. Ah, what a day. Right, just stopped to take our, take our jumpers and our jackets off, so I'm back into my classy ACDC cotton soaking wet t-shirt. But we're dropping down into the into the quarry and we're just past down past the steep bit, which you really have to take a lot of care over as you drop over the, the run uh, at the, the Bialach into the quarry. It's quite steep, so yeah, we're onto the hard rocky ground now and uh, yeah, we'll report back when we get down to the van. Right, shall we head down? Let's go. Right, so that's us back in the van. What a great adventure. It's good, uh, it's a route I hadn't done before and one of Lewis's first scrambling routes. So it was, it was good fun, it was, uh, it was fine. So what have I learned? <laughs> well, remember and pick up your, all your gear. When you're in a rush, just take your time when you're leaving home because um, yeah, this wasn't bad, but I'm I don't have a fresh t-shirt to wear and change into. And it's not the most, um, but it's not great to breathe a belt, it's soaked through, so yeah, it was good. Um, what else? Um, yeah, great father son time. And uh, you can't beat it when you're on the book I mean, look at it. Isn't it just magnificent? Absolutely fabulous. So, anyway, I'm going to end the video here. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Right, time to get back home. Let's go. Oh.